Ignite Heart versus the Kiwi Dragon Poisoned Chalice Championship Match. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome back to Supercharge here on Square to Charge. And we're doing it a bit differently here today because this, as you might be able to tell, is a post-race commentary edition. Uh, unfortunately, the original audio plus the uh, commentary for this race somehow got lost and corrupted. I don't know how, but hey, we just live and we adapt. So instead, we're doing post-race commentary, uh, of course, with myself as uh, not only just commentator, but I was also competitor in this race, the Kiwi Dragon. And joining me today, we also have uh, my... Uh, co-commentators and analysts uh, uh, analysts analysts jesus that's a hard word to say when you're uh, speaking fast uh we have one bobbledink hello youtube watchers it's your boy bobbledink here and i'm very pleased and happy to be here excellent stuff we also have one gizmo cat 11 hello everybody um, i got to be here for part of the race but i'm glad i get to see the whole thing today fantastic stuff and of course, Square to Charge World Champion Rexy. I was there for the entire thing last time, and now it's going to be interesting to end up revisiting this one completely. <laughs> Indeed. And of course, we've also got Rexy doing the scorekeeping for Midnight Heart side, and Gizmo will be doing the scorekeeping for my side. Uh, so you'll have noticed on my side, actually, speaking of which, there is a lovely little timer in the bottom right hand corner. That is because. Uh, Prior to the race, Midnight Heart and I agreed that I would do a time penalty, take a three-minute time penalty to see um, how well she could do with a three-minute advantage. Because, of course, this isn't the first time that her and I have played this game. This is the second time after the uh, special exhibition match as part of Quickelodeon. So this is a rematch, I suppose, of sorts. So we'll see, actually, uh, whether we are able to score higher than we did last time. I don't remember what my score was last time, but I'll look it up and put it somewhere here on the edit, somewhere on screen. Uh, but yes, right now, I believe Midnight Heart has seven points from the last game, and she's about to get... What's the next batch of points here? It's with Angelica's old dirty grin. Five points. Yeah, so, lovely. Five. So, that's a, so that's a total of 12 at this point. Yeah, lovely total of 12 at the moment. But yes, so we've got about 40 seconds before I uh, jump in. And I will warn you ahead of time for a little bit of a spoiler. Uh, it's a fun spoiler. Uh, yeah, I don't jump straight into the race. There's a bit of um, slight shenanigans, but uh, nothing that would hinder me too much. <laughs> you'll see You'll see what happens in just a moment. Funny, because I was there the first time, and I'm not sure I remember. So this will be interesting to see all over again. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't remember doing it till actually I was editing this all together. So when I actually saw it all compiled i was like i don't even remember doing that so and this right. is midnight heart doing the most stressful game of oh, all time oh the my goodness one. Three oh, seconds, i just remember two. Just struggling with it oh there we go and i've gone back to the main menu yeah <laughs> so technically it's uh, <laughs> three minutes and to it's a three minute Toy story ten head start if we're being honest <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm off to the races now, and where there am we I go. First? Kiwi back in the game. Oh, we're going with Spike first with the uh, dog uh, food water bowls. Yep. And Hannah is yeah. oh, not quite uh, able to get the uh, the fruit bowl at the top there. I seem to think she, I, I I did. She didn't get the the fruit basket there, did she? No, I didn't see her I, get it. No, no, no so. she didn't. No, I, I, I remember on, on, on the actual though. with that one. Is, is from I remember on the actual yeah, race, yeah. us telling her like, you know, look, grab it, grab it, press the button, press the button, and then she doesn't. It's like, oh no, and it's like, <laughs> try maybe she pressed the button. button. Was, so yeah, maybe she pressed yeah. a button, just not the button. A button, not the button. Yeah, I like that. She she, she pressed a button, but not the a button. Yeah. <laughs> well, considering it's the right. R button. So I got an eight. Is, is it the eight? R button? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's shoulder the R. button. Yeah. yeah cool. Button. Kiwi off to a strong start there. I'm keeping track. Don't worry. No, no, we were all good. So you. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just for for the funsies keeping track as well. Oh yeah, and I'm just pointing and actually, out what up, points were. After so. winning one game, like you've already gotten half her score. So. 
Yeah, because she was on, that, I think, 16 cool. by my count. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Jesus, that is that is blinding. <laughs> I, I really don't like seeing Angelica's grin. I really don't. Oh, it, it, it's one of the few times where I have to play as Angelica and I'm just like, eh, I really don't like this Why? Character. Why is her... This is what always bugged me. Like, why is her mouth over to the side? It's like, you know, Denzel Crocker having his ear on his neck, you know. <laughs> but at least there, they kind of reference it and make a joke. Yeah. Like, hey, joke, Sonic, it's just if, not natural. If Sonic the Hedgehog can get away with it, then so can any cartoon character. Absolutely, yeah. All right. I mean, I've never noticed it with Sonic. Seven for that one. And now we get to see how I do at the, uh, the bouncing while uh, Hannah has a bit of a uh, time with the dog slalom. <laughs> yeah, she was having fun with that one. I thought you were going to say while well, Hannah goes dogging, but... <laughs> <laughs> but... Yeah, that's why I thought she would excel at Cool Borders too, because I'm like, yeah. cool, she's able to do the slalom kind of thing. Oh, is, is the objective of the game to go around the fire hydrants? Yeah, you have to like go. Yeah. Yes, to to go around the fire hydrants in this one. Yeah. Okay. I think you only just... missed one from what I can see as well. So I that's think quite it was interesting. Two from what I glimpsed. Oh, there's three. Okay, now she's yeah, she's Four. missed. <laughs> yep. It just seems so dangerous to have these stack of babies just oh, yeah. wobbling over. I, I mean, to be fair, they do have the pillows on the ground, so they were it thinking just of helping. Like it wouldn't be enough. It just. Seems like it wouldn't it's be. like they're not aware See, that it's is... bad enough that they're top heavy with their skulls this being like... heavier than the rest of their bodies currently. This is like one of those posts on Facebook where it's like, see, this is what we were like when we were kids. No phones, no technology, just pure fun, you know. And it's like a picture of them pretending to like behead someone or something, or like running a motorcycle over someone. <laughs> it's like, you know, like... see, just, just pure joy, no phones, no tech. Well, no I just remember Mafie, yeah. what's that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The good old days. The good old I just days, remember you know? when Midnight Heart was doing the stacking challenge. I just kept saying, whoa, whoa, for just to throw her off. <laughs> add the anxiety, you are, add the anxiety. You rascal, you. You are lawful evil, you. My god, am I already on the dog star? I am massively catching up at this point. Because I think she's only got one mini game ahead of it. I think you, you're right like a saying? pro at this game, which is hilarious. Because yeah. until I'd done the Whoa, exhibition, I thought you were going to miss that as well. Oh, same. Yeah, I was looking at that, going, "Did I miss that one?" No, until I did the special exhibition with her back in Quick Elodian, I had not played this. I want to say that's for brought like you guys 10, level. 12 that's years? insane. Yeah. Oh, this one. Now I remember doing quite well at this one. If memory serves, or is that? I don't know. Could have been another time that I was playing this. That's the I have played it again. Game recently. does memory serve. <laughs> wow, the jigsaw puzzle. Ah. Oh. This is the one where she struggled to figure out how to flip the pieces. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. I I do put a belter through this one. Wow. The thing you is, I it. I only remembered the top five the, on the top two shelves. So I was like, I don't even know how I got the four. And that's Kiwi on a sequenced. cool 40. Yeah. Oh, Hannah's struggling with the puzzle. I remember she mixes up Tommy and Dill. It's like it was disgraceful. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't we shouldn't bash on it too much. Rugrats was a bit before her time. Yeah, she was born in 2013, wasn't she? Like, you know. Well, no, no not quite, not quite. Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she was, she was born in fun a little bit. No, no, she was born in. We have a tiny bit competing so with us. She, she, she does. She, she would have maybe seen um, what's it called? Rugrats all grown up, but it was definitely syndicated, though. Yeah. Unless, like, I don't know, maybe it's different over there. I don't know because I wasn't living here at that point in New Zealand, so because I, I didn't get here till two thousand nine. By which point, Rugrats was definitely not airing. And of course, I did Sky, so yeah, it, it's so, it, it's on Nickelodeon on Sky at least. But yeah, this is what always um, bugged me on Midnight Scream was I think, if memory serving correct, mm -hmm. is it possible to like move a tile whilst the creature is on it? No, it's not. 
Okay, no, never mind then. While, while, cool. while the worm is in there, you cannot move that tile. Which okay, is really cool. irritating. Because <laughs> I thought that was a trick that she was missing and it was yeah. bugging me and I was like... I... There's still a creative trick on the uh, pipe maze thing which you just like... Move One point. Air. That's brutal. Oh, you can see uh, Hannah's antivirus. You've like well and truly in. lapped her. Yep. Yeah. Seven oh. days left. Quick, yes. get that fixed, midnight. Oh no, that's oh that's not her antivirus. It's her Adobe Creative Service. I can't read that very well. Time to renew your <laughs> renew your Darks. subscription. Well, either way, she ended up. Maybe uh, that's why going... she was asking for money on Twitter. Like, yeah. <laughs> either, either way, she went back to the start, <laughs> meaning any points that she accumulated is being wiped. Absolutely, you're, you're totally right. There, oh, right great. So. so... Which is, which is good and bad in a way because she gets to do things over a second time round. But of course she has now been disadvantaged because of course there is a bonus for whoever finishes first and whoever finishes second. So, But uh, we'll talk about that towards the end of the race. Of course. And am I correct in thinking there was a time limit on this as well? Or No, there's no time limit, no. No, we've, we, the only time limit was just the, the three minute head start that I gave her, but that's of course long since elapsed. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, as I say, I, I could have probably done another three minute time penalty to be like, yeah, you can catch up. I mean, in retrospect, I I, I was looking at it at the time and I, and I said to her, I said, are you sure three minutes is enough? She's like, yeah, it's enough. And I remember saying to somebody about it and they said, yeah, no, three minutes will be fine. I said, you sure I, I, I shouldn't do like, you know, Five, those seven, ten. Uh, that's that is a good question. Where do the cookies come from? <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I I thought about maybe doing like a five minute time penalty or a ten minute time penalty, but I was told no, that's that's too much. Three minutes should be fine. You know, it yeah. shouldn't disadvantage her too badly with three minutes. And it's like, well, um, she gained over, so I suppose the the, the time the. Uh, the time penalty was kind of null and void in a way, I suppose. Yeah. So we, should we have a score update? Like, what's everyone on? Yeah, actually, it's a good um, question. I, I just wrote down the numbers. I haven't. Uh, oh, okay. I haven't added them yet. So with Hannah restarting, pretty much every point she had accumulated the first time around had been wiped. So she's on with, six. She's currently on six. Yes. Oof. Yeah. I can't tell if that's better or worse than the last cookie run. I think that's worse, actually, isn't it? I might be wrong. Yeah, she got seven last time. She ended oh. up doing the... See, and I just got seven in the sandbox that blues. Are we on 55? Wow. We're not but she did halfway. the spike game much better, getting nine points instead of five. And an extra cookie. Oh, I loathe this one. Because I don't have the foresight to know where each block is going. It's like I, I try and figure it out, but then it's just like, whoops! I should not have broken that one. I should have broken the other one, and it's like, yeah. I think he was on seventy points actually at the moment. Okay. So. Clear oh, this out. is when. This was the. Whoa. Oh, is this the whoa, whoa moment? <laughs> yeah, it was this moment right here. I don't know, just something just... about this image is just unsettling to me. She still has the um, the Adobe stuff up as well. <laughs> <laughs> How long is it she there for? I never noticed she... it in the edit. <laughs> she was focused on it. She was focused on Oh, she on really it. was focused on the race, yeah. I mean, if anything, she can kind of use that to absolve herself of, you know, how she did in the race. That, ah, oh, sorry, I was worried about my subscription, you know. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, real yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so we know. have to redo the whole thing just because exactly, of that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You heard it here first, folks. It's, it's time for another rematch because of Adobe uh, Creative Service Alert or whatever the hell yeah. it says down there. Yeah, they did switch the subscri subscription system, which is rather... <laughs> that means we all know the um, game that Kiwi will be doing if he gets the Poison Chalice. And with whom? Oh, Caitlin's just messaged me to say, uh, Rugrats aired on TV2 over here in New Zealand and in the mornings till about 2006. So Hannah may have been somewhat Ooh. familiar with it, apparently. 
Oh, okay, I was gonna say, uh, like, oh, if anyone grew up in New Zealand, leave it in the comments. But that, that I guess, we have that question answered. No, Is that for, the insomniac? For... Or are you are you there to corroborate <laughs> as well? I hope you're watching in the comments. Yeah, no. If you're not she's, watching, she's I'll be horribly offended. Yet, so she's able to uh, <laughs> elaborate on that little. To be your nugget. live fact checker. Yes. I think a lot yeah. of heaven too. Hey, I, I'm nothing if not consistent. She was on this challenge for so long. It's amazing. Yeah, I must this say has she, all she, the yeah. This has all the yeah. stress levels. That's of, the one thing I remember. Into Patrick's house. I didn't. I didn't realize it was her second time doing it. Come on, just hit the R button. Just hit the R button, <laughs> please. Please. Whoa, whoa. Oh, she did hit it then. I saw the whoa, hand movement. Whoa, I saw the whoa, whoa. So the, prob the problem is you really want that green bar to keep rising because otherwise there's no steadiness. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, she's holding it. Oh, no, no. Oh, I shouldn't have said that because she's losing it again now. There we go. No, she's holding it. No. Come on, lad. Keep it nice and straight. Nice and straight. I believe I don't that. know what's going on. Not going to lie. I'm, I'm like fixated on what's happening. Like, just, just hit the R button, please, Anna. That'll be a 10 I there, by the way, Gizmo, because I knew I got yeah, I the saw, perfect I score saw, on no. that one. No, 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 I just, I just yeah. remember getting perfect hey, score Oddish. on it. Sorry, I thought I'd make that obligatory oh, comment. Oh, the Oddish. Did you see the Oddish? Here. Shout out to the highlights video. Go watch it after this, of Absolutely. course. Absolutely. Highlights a quick Elodian. I don't know what's making me uh, more of a nauseous. The movement on uh, Hannah's hmm. screen right now, or the camera angles in Jimmy Neutron? Oh, I think it's the <laughs> movement here right now. It's 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 doing something to me. I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing you something. You mean the Jimmy Neutron game or the TV show? Yeah, uh, the game that we played in Quibble OD and uh, Bubble Dink. Oh, yeah, man. That was such a terrible game. Like, you know, it just, <laughs> it could not register like a simple platform. Stepped on the carpet, just fell right through it, and it was like, mate, come on. What was, yeah, what was the, the, what was the description on, for that one? It was like, into the stars, this game this is game subpar. Is subpar. And I was like, that I like that. wasn't the, the studio's, studio's intention. Again. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, this is the moment that she was never going to catch up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. There, there, there's a point you're, where I'm just going... You're the fruit basket, not the pink fuzz. There is a point where I'm just looking at this and going, Hannah, you should have cut your losses at this point. You, you, you're not grabbing it. You're losing yeah. ground. Just, 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 just drop. Just drop. Just let it happen. Uh, like, oh, oh! oh! She didn't oh, get it. Oh! Bloody hell. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she did get it. She shut yeah. us all right up. Only for three points. Two more yeah. points than she got before. <laughs> oh, here we go. Mud pie. This time. person on the left, by the way, is the same person who defeated Chris in a race. So, yeah. Defeated Just putting Chris it out there, Chris, in, uh, if you're watching. Yeah. Defeated Chris and Quickelodia. Maybe one day we'll see a rematch for that race. Oh, that's not yeah. likely to happen anytime soon, is it? <laughs> no, probably not. Oh, she's back doing the slalom. Now, can she do a better right, slalom can... performance this time round? I was going to say, can she go through all of the fire well not through around all of the fire hydrants well the funny you thing know, was in attempt number one she she knew how to break i suppose is break the right word and you're playing as a dog that runs run slower she like she knows she knows the button <laughs> for it but like she still managed to like avoid like three different poles so well there's something about scoring that i don't necessarily understand uh, she actually got the ice cream Mm -hmm. I got three points, but in the previous attempt, she missed the ice cream and got four. How did the game just like calculate an extra point just for? Because she didn't take guess. nearly as long to drop. <laughs> well, because we were that. here for forever and a day waiting for the ice cream. <laughs> Speaking of which, why would you place ice cream at the top of a fridge? Makes me wonder that it's maybe not ice cream. Makes me think it's something else. Like a decoration. 
Oh, like or one of the cupcakes you get in Amsterdam. Yeah, good. They, Fun fact, I went things? on holiday to Amsterdam and someone in our group actually took a cupcake back with us, like on the coach. Yeah. Um, Because they don't check luggage on coaches when you're going on a ferry. So. Mm. Fun fact to those wondering, you can actually, yeah, bring drugs back into the UK. I was say, was it laced with marijuana? <laughs> <laughs> Although, to be fair, we hadn't left by that point. It was 2018, so we were going to leave still, but yeah. it hadn't actually happened. So, you know, six years later, it could have changed. Ah, nice job on the 10 Midnight Heart. Yes, she did very well at that memory game yeah. that time around, I saw, yeah. Well, might I also say I love the um, font you've chosen for the lettering in oh, this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it, really does, it really does scream like the... Text. That <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that was, text. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly what i was going for yeah that's that's yeah. the lot of the thing with the with the creative design choices that i do for a lot of these race edits is i try to find fonts that match the game sometimes it works really well and sometimes it doesn't look as great i know uh, i was talking about this with chris not so long ago he was saying to me he's like i really like the way that the tekken 2 one looked and i said really i said i thought the tekken 2 one was my least favorite to be honest he's like no he's like the tekken one's my favorite one of the the the, the three that you did and i said yeah i definitely agree with that one because it was so basic and so simple but he said to me he's like yeah tekken 3 he said to me he, he wasn't a big fan of because there was just so much going on and the text was so big and yeah but uh, no as i say i just try and match it up as best i can or if i can't then as i'll just try and still read it oh yeah that's the thing i think that they're all <laughs> still legible yeah i mean that, that sounds more like it's a comment on tekken 3 itself rather than like your choice of fonts there like uh, yeah as i say it's probably a comment on the, the the fact that the tekken logo by that point had become uh quite different and very uniform i think it stays that way yeah. i think from tekken 3 all the way to uh, the most recent Tekken 8, actually. So, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, it's an interesting time for Tekken as well. Um, because, like, there's a new game coming out. And I think a lot of the enthusiasm for Tekken seems to have, like, been revived. Yeah, so. absolutely. I mean, I think Tekken... Uh, in terms of enthusiasm, I think Tekken's been in a very healthy place since Tekken 7, I want to say, was when it really started to get a bit of a resurgence back. Um, I, I don't know, when I when I say resurgence, like it didn't feel like as big around the time of Tekken 6, and maybe not so much around Tag Tournament 2, but yeah. Um, yeah, Tekken, Tekken 7 really seemed to amp people back up, and I think a lot of that was to do with... Um, the lore world building that it did, but also some of the characters that were in that game, both base game and DLC, you had like um, Akuma from Street Fighter was in there as a base game character. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, and um, the, some of the DLCs were like, you know, pretty standard kind of old Tekken characters coming back who hadn't been part of the base roster, but then you had characters like. There was, I think his name's Noctis from like Final Fantasy fourteen was a character that was in there. Um, yeah. And, oh, bloody Negan from The Walking Dead as well was a character. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Oh, you know, there's, there's another game that it's so unfairly overlooked. It's not even funny. Mm -hmm. Hocken Tournament. Pokemon Tournament, yes, yes. Yeah, we absolutely need to get that on the channel. Do you know the hilarious thing? Like... I was legitimately playing that last night. I'm not really. Even... Yeah, I was playing that last Mate, night. Mate, I need to whip out my um, uh, Wii U and get playing that again because, like, the thing that really bugs me is one, it was released on the Wii U, so mm. it was naturally overlooked, and two, it came out the same year as Pokemon Go. Yeah. So it just never got the publicity it needed to like really be successful. But it's a really fun game. And honestly, I mean, I assume there's like a Wii U emulator you can get. There is a Wii U emulator. It's called uh, Simu. Yep. You'd be able to do it on that. But it's also um, on Nintendo Switch as well. Uh, Pokemon Tournament. Oh, is it? Yep. It got a. Uh, I think it was called Pokemon Tournament DX is when it released on Switch. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
That's actually I how only I'm have playing a switch it. Light. So yeah. I, I only have a switch light though, so I'd probably have to. I mean, I don't even own a switch, so you've got more of a switch than I do. I've got old switch emulator. <laughs> naughty, naughty. I, oh, Fez. <laughs> I think CMU would be the only option to play Sonic Boom as of Luke. Yes, it would Not be. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Even yeah. though that game just like had the worst reception uh, since uh, six. <laughs> Yeah. One day I'll play Rise of Lyric. One day when I can be motivated to play something awful, but yeah. <laughs> today's not that day. <laughs> going going back to the tech and yeah. thing though, because I'm I'm glad you pointed. Oh, I'm glad you brought it up because there's a girl called um, like very creatively called uh, Anya Tekken. <laughs> so it's like, oh, I wonder what franchise she's interested in. <laughs> um, but you know, no, like, no, no hate. That's just a li little joke. Sorry if I offend. Um, no, she's also interested in Spyro, and not on Square to Charge, but on a uh, like separate channel. She said, or like commented, you know, ah, oh, these Spyro races look cool. I'd love to get involved. So I like sort of, you know, followed her on Twitter, follow her channel, and I'm on her server. And I'm kind of hoping the tech and videos will like you know, maybe encourage her and some of her friends to come over and be like, oh, cool, let's do some tech and, and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, It'd be nice to actually so, yeah, see I'm, some I'm people actually... who are properly proficient at tech because despite <laughs> what my performance suggests, <laughs> no, I am not yeah. proficient at no, tech was, whatsoever. That was our second take. That was our second take. Just because uh, he and King were just not beating everybody. Yeah, yeah, that that was which 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 game was that Tekken one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the first one, and then um, we had like three rounds, and then I we decided to put a stop to it. Be like, okay, let's go back to two because <laughs> we went medium three rounds. Yeah, no one was progressing. I think the problem with that though is, and the thing you've got to really remember about Tekken one is because it was 1994. It's it's a very clunky very slow moving game so when you start to like play like and i think you'll have seen this because you watched us do the three back-to-back -back gizmo um by the time you get to tekken 3 it's a whole different beast because like it's faster yeah. it's more fluid and like tekken 3 as i said in the race in the commentary is more functionally closer to what i first played tekken with which was tekken 5 so yeah in fact, I was playing Tekken 5 the other day and I was just reminiscing about how much I love the game. Yeah. Tekken Still couldn't, just couldn't very nice be Jim there, Patchy, but you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tekken 3 is the best uh, fighting game on the PS1 and I don't want to hear any ifs or buts about it. And of course, there was also the option to just like step in and out of the arena as well, which was also a uh, cool grow up out there. Another chance to end up dodging attacks, which I remember using the heck out of back in the day. I will say, so, I yeah. think somebody will disagree with you about the best threat on PS1, because I think King might turn around and tell you that's Battle Arena to Shinden. Hmm. I've been hearing things about Shinden. I don't think we got that in the UK. I have no idea. I'd never heard of it till the other day, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he says to me, he says, like, you should play Battle Arena to oh, Shinden. I'm like, no dead idea. End there. Yeah, and as I, said, yeah. I, I was like, I had no idea what Battle Arena to Shinden even is. Oh, wow, really what a sure brilliant jump. Wow. <laughs> Made it 0.5 meters. <laughs> I, I mean, if it's any constellation, that's your only one. To be fair, that is the mini game in this game that I hate the most because it's not just the rhythmic tapping, because you can't just smash A and B. Like, you have to do it at certain, like, intervals to actually, like, make sure it's all rhythmically timed up. But then you've got to have the ramp at the right angle. You've got to make sure the car's, you know, at the right speed. And it's like, bloody hell, this is supposed to be a game for kids. When did physics become, you know, a real core cool part of bloody Rugrats? As I uh, miss a golden worm, I was so pissed about this at the time. I remember being so very annoyed that I missed the golden worm. Which I think, hilariously, I think Hannah actually might be the one to get the Golden Worm. I can't remember if she gets it. We'll find out later. But I seem to remember well, if she that's might. any consolation, Hannah, you did well to get the Golden Worm. There's something Maybe, that I possibly. didn't do. <laughs> <laughs> something else she's done that I've not done is beat Chris at a, like, race. So, yeah. <laughs> one day, one day, your time will come. Exactly. Oh, Arcade hello. Battle 2. 
Sorry, my cat's just coming to join me. She's meowing at me. I What's thought someone matter? joined the call for a second. No, I was like, no, it's, oh, it's, new it, member. It, it's little Squeak. <laughs> she's coming to say hello. Hi, buddy. Hello, Squeak. No, she's meowing at me. I'm trying to figure out what she wants because she's already had breakfast, so. Haven't you? It's like playing playing a game of Blues Clues while we're doing commentary. Oh, Hi, yeah. Oddish. <laughs> the Oddish returns! <laughs> yeah. Blue skirt do, we can too. Good is to see there you. a just... Blues Clues game? I believe there, there is. There has to be. Yeah. Oh, it's a shame we didn't get that done during Quickelodeon, but... Good to see that um, I haven't lost my pattern, sense of pattern with this game, because I have a bit of a system, as you can probably tell, where I just go as it comes along and I memorise where this video you know, game series. Yeah. I'd say I better hope that's a ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one that you got a ten for—I was going to mention this before—that I'm not surprised you got was the racing one. I was like, "There you go, your CTR skills—they came into play there." Do you want to know something really hilarious about that racing one, though? What is that? When I was a kid, I sucked at that. Genuinely. Like, Gosh, I, I this thing on your screen, Kiwi, is ripping off that Little Britain video game, mini game <laughs> thing. <laughs> the supermarket one with Marjorie Dawes, yeah. I know what yeah. you mean, yeah, the Pac-Man, yeah. Oh. And it's like, it, it's funny because you, you're picking up, you know, essentially two different types of, they're still, like I suppose, sweets in a way. It's cookies in this one and then... Yeah. Marjorie's going around, oh man, I love to kick. <laughs> <laughs> it seems you did better this time than you did last time at that challenge, though. Oh, this yeah, is the part where she's just trying to back around looking for the fifth hub. So I believe last time you ended with a seven on that minigame. Yeah. Gosh, I'm being Alan Dedicote from the National Lottery when I'm like, we now draw the ball number three. Last time it appeared was four Thursdays ago in January, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just like, how do you remember all these statistics? Just to have that point of reference going, yeah, the last time we drew that number was about four thirds. Like, bloody hell, what? <laughs> Please tell me someone else is off screen with a clipboard going, yeah, we haven't seen that in about four Thursdays, Alan, so don't forget to say that. And it's yeah. like, or, or is he genuinely remember? If he genuinely remembers, then shit, that'd be impressive. Well, I mean, I, I suppose part of it is feasible in the sense that maybe... Um, you know, he was the one, like, uh, doing all the announcing. So I guess, you know, you do quickly pick these things up, maybe. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there, there must have been someone off screen feeding him some of the facts and figures. And oh, statistic. absolutely. But yeah, like, no, just I, to... I, oh, sorry, no, go on. Go, go for it, yeah, yeah. No, I just wanted to briefly touch back upon what Gizmo was saying earlier on about the kart racing one with the, 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 the reptile racing. No, it's just because it, it plays similarly to... Um, Dare I say it, Super Mario, um, not Super Mario Kart. What's it called? Uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit, the GBA one. It, it handles sort of similarly, and of course, I didn't have that point of reference as a kid because I'd never played Super Circuit. So I was like, "Why does this control like ass?" And then I realised, yeah, Super Circuit don't control great either. And I thought to myself, this might be the worst controlling racing game on on the Game Boy Advance. And then I realised, no, that there is a racing game which controls even worse than that. Which would happen to be, and I, I can't believe I'm saying this because this is a cardinal sin that I, I believe that a game for this would be so bad. But Formula One 2002 for the Game Boy Advance is one of the worst controlling games I've ever played. And I, yeah, bitterly disappointed to say that. Okay, let me add up your score. Ooh. But don't tell me quite Ooh. yet. Oh, and add a right, 10 really? on top of it because um, okay. we're doing uh, bonuses, so first place gets an additional we're, 10. We're finished. Yeah. Okay. Because the idea of it then, because it's 24 mini games with a possible score, or your max score of uh, 240, so 10 bonus points rounds it up to 1050. So 1050, right. 250. Sorry. I'm going to def in a second to add up the yeah, score. Yeah, no, please do. No worries, no worries. Meanwhile, we have Hannah on another five, and she's... Keep it on going. Oh, oh, here we go. The reptile racing rears its oh. head. See how Hannah does on reptile racing. I don't. What is it with Hannah and like being on racing games for these? Like you know, 
it seems to be her bread and butter in these. Like... Yeah, well, if it's not Flash games, it seems to be uh, racing games, apparently. Yeah. DTL, Lego Faces, Nicktoons Racing. <laughs> I mean, I guess she has done quite a few. Just there. She has yeah. done a lot of racing games, absolutely. I'd, I'd love to see her try some like other Flash games, though. Yeah. If she currently has a 100% success rate in them, so... You know what, I'm wondering what, which, what she would be like at Quop. Oh, ooh, Hannah is really struggling with the um, with the cornering here. Oh, not into the tree! No, I think this may end up being a one point because that's the minimum I can just say. I imagine, yeah, I imagine Game Boy Advance must be like a generation too early for Hannah, right? Um, no, it would. Well, okay, depends on. She would have been born as it was sort of oh, in, in already its... on the market for a while. Like yeah, yeah in in its in its uh, real like heyday years because GBA was two thousand one, so it's only about two years old by the time she was born. So, and GBA didn't really well, then end the generation for GBA didn't really end until. I mean, the, the, the DS had come out by 04, DS Lite by 06, um, but it was still producing games all the way up to, at least as far as I'm aware, about 2007, maybe 2008 even. Okay. So. It's because I didn't get my first, like, GBA console until I was seven years old. Ah, uh, okay. So, like, I'm just saying, you know, if that, Assuming Hannah works to a similar time frame that a person 2010, so yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was more my thought. Oh, no, 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 I, like, I, I get you, she, yeah. she might know of its existence. I'm not sure if she would have played on one as a kid or not. No, I, Unless she I has don't an actually older know what consoles really she grew up with, to be honest. I think it was just the Wii and the Wii U, I think. Yeah, I know, I know she but loves then you... her Wii U, let's put it that way. <laughs> It's good that someone does. Oh, she, she's a staunch um, defender of that console. So, yeah. Nice. Well, I, you know, I'm there for it. I, lo I love the Wii U, love. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'll be honest. I didn't hate the Wii U. I remember trying to actively petition my mum going, when we because this would have been, what, 2012? How old would I have been? About 14, 15 at the time? Going, oh, we should get a <laughs> Wii U. The only problem I think I remember people having with it, not wasn't that the console was any bad it was just that it was marketed very confusingly very poor in that it yeah. just kind of looks like you know sort of like the wii motion plus and things like that like it's just an extension just to looks a wii like console an console rather than a new console yeah yeah exactly you're right and then there was the idea of, of uh, what ex uh, what are the killer apps to end up playing on there? It was going to be a Rayman Legends for a while before it actually became available on every other console going. Mm. Yeah. I think really the, the killer app that was for it was, well, you've got your choice of Mario Kart 8 or uh, Smash Bros. And even then Mario Kart 8 ends up coming to Switch. So that is null and void. And... Switch gets the sequel to that Smash Bros, uh, which was better anyway with Smash Ultimate. So, yeah, again, yeah. null and void. And even then, uh, Smash 4 even got a 3DS version as well, so yes. there were options. Yeah, were see, I, I preferred the 3DS version of Smash myself. Because the Nintendo Wii was so, like, incredibly, monstrously successful as well that I think any kind of console that would brand itself as a sequel to it just wouldn't be as well loved because yeah it's like the adage the sequel is never quite as good you know yeah i know no, for I... me personally hmm? i know for me personally uh that 
when the Wii U came out, I was in college at the time. That's when I was hardly playing any games whatsoever. So it's like it never even crossed my mind. Like, yeah, I want a Wii U because I didn't take my consoles with me to university at all. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't until my second year of uni. I and even then I just took my PS3 to play Spyro. <laughs> I was just saying, I, I didn't even go to uni, so you two got that on me. <laughs> Here's something amazing that happened uh, for uni here. The PS2 was uh, going by the time I became a student, because she's my age in comparison to everyone else on the channel. But uh, uh, to get away from uh, getting a TV license, just to end up uh, using a TV for anything, even playing video games, someone was able to actually find a uh, attachable screen that would end up getting hooked onto the PS2 and that ended up being used as a monitor. Meaning I got to end up actually playing games like Dragon Quest VIII and Kingdom Hearts 2 and the like while I was in the university dorm. So that was wow. really good for me. That's pretty good. <laughs> Ooh, Hannah just missed three bottles there. Oh. She's, she's not abusing the wall. She she's is not hitting bottling the it. proxy at the moment. Bottling it. She is bottling <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> But no, she needs that RNG Rather failing to bottle it. <laughs> uh, I'm too proud of that one. Yeah. Oh, I cracked myself up. I'm hilarious. <laughs> what was I going to say, though? But no, as I say, I, 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 yeah, never went to college. But, like, you know, I suppose the only comparable thing in terms of that story that I can say is um, I used to take my 3DS with me uh, to high school when I, uh, from about year, I would say, mm. 11 or 12 all the way through 13. Um, How many screen right. passes did you get at your school grounds? Uh, about five to seven, because there were a fair few people who would take their 3DSs with them. And there were some uh, hostile kids, you know, boarders, who, who would have 3DSs as well. So if I was anywhere near the vicinity of the, the boarding um, facility... So then, I yeah. heard that as hostile kids, and I was like, oh, <laughs> Hostile kids? Yeah, 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 well, high school had plenty of those, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our Midnight Heart still got ten, despite... Yeah missing all those bottles like you know Are you, well you only it's need 40 to, to get actually 10. get 10 so yeah. she didn't get it hi oddish the oddish returns no it's, yeah. Yeah, it's 40 to, to get 10 but like you know you, you would have seen i think in my one i think i got 50 because i'm being i was being a try hard i believe <laughs> fun fact i once nicknamed my oddish bill oddy so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm so gonna do that for every oddish now <laughs> Next time Good I play a Nuzlocke, I'm gonna call it Bill Oddy. <laughs> do it, man. Uh, what happens if it's a female, though? Oh. Do I still call it Bill Oddy? Uh, Billy Oddy? <laughs> Billy Oddy! I like that. I like that. <laughs> uh, see, Hannah yeah. hasn't quite got down, beat the. Um, the 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 reverse minesweeper I think Chris uh, dubbed it the the anti minesweeper it it is sort of like minesweeper isn't yeah. it yeah but like the arrows are like trying to tell you like green is like yeah it's one space down or yellow is two and red is three and I think I ended up pointing that out to her um, in the last you know or during the race and I was trying to say to her about it and she was like no no it's fine I'm just gonna keep digging I'm just gonna go where I'm going and I'm like okay <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Gotta love the blasé attitude. Oh, she's she just very much, you know, just do her own thing. It's, yeah, it's sort of refreshing in a way because she's just like, nope, I'm gonna do me. <laughs> I mean, she's still got eight, so it's, you know, it's not a bad score at all. Yeah, absolutely. Great amount of bones there. Yeah. Now then, is this. Ah, uh, here we go. Can she right. beat my horrible score of 0 0.5 meters? <laughs> I'm actually Man, genuinely curious everything. now. <laughs> I can't they have remember what happened. Everything. Man, how was she able to get that bumper back so fast? I wasn't able to. Oh, hang on. She's picking up speed. Oh. The ramp didn't even lift. <laughs> oh, banter. <laughs> so she didn't even get a zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Hannah. No. Hannah Hannah I feel Hannah. slightly vindicated now <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Oh here we go Does she get the golden uh, worm The big she... moment Number two. 
This is the only reason to watch Supercharge, is to find out these questions. The burning questions that life... I don't know where I was going with that, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Traitors UK, you got nothing on this. Oh, she's oh, getting more oh, rocks no! than this. She oh, missed the golden! She missed the golden worm. Hannah, no, Hannah. I can't believe it. I thought oh. one of us would get it. Hannah, you're meant to catch the worms. No. At the moment, she's, she's, catching, catching, she's catching stones, which are, um, I presume, giving the worms a, a sort of brain damage. Ah, uh, <laughs> mate. Did it just, like, knock them out of the cup? <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> it's a hole at the bottom for some reason. 13. How much does that sound like? Enough. Five. There's a hole in my bucket. Well, she qualified, I, so... I love that song. <laughs> at, least she's, at least she's qualified. That's that's the main thing. Now, is she finally into the bedroom? I think that's what yeah, it said, she is. yeah. It said Tommy's bedroom, Oh, yeah. there we go. Final chapter. Ooh. I mean, at this point, Final she did not place. need a rush at all. No, she didn't. I mean, she was already uh, secured for second place in terms of bonus points, but... Yeah. She doesn't rush even when it's about speed. Oh, no. Oh, so. <laughs> uh, this uh, This is the one I stayed for last, and I remember looking back on the race and um, afterwards going, shit, I wish I'd done this one first. Because <laughs> I hate this I... one. Oh, uh, I was going to say, why is that? It's it's just one of those ones that it's just, it it feels so anticlimactic to to finish on, because yeah it's. I mean, it's who who, like, who I mean, one's actually not so bad? I got a horrible one, with like a uh, what's it called like a, a a popper like you know those lawnmower type toys with the balls in the chamber. Oh yeah, I yeah, got yeah, one yeah. of those, and I don't remember what the other side was. I think it was a ball. And I was just like, my god, these are horrible shapes to work with. Whereas she gets Reptile, which is honestly such an easier shape to work with because, you know, it's, it's such a recognisable character from the show. Um, well, she was doing well, yeah. and then she kind of just... I don't know. She was getting it together at the bottom. Oh, yeah. No, she, she was perfectly falling at the bottom. And now it's, just, it's very yeah. hard to do, though, so I'm not even putting it on her, the no. fact that, you know, she struggled because... I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, ah, I'm terrified. I, I, I'm looking no, she, at it and I'm thinking, dead, you know what? I think you had it, yeah, because like she, she's got the shapes forming. Like she had the shapes forming earlier on. I think she would have probably got more points for doing that, for having some of the shapes the right way, <laughs> even if it's not even in the right position. So yeah. That would warp if anyone said. Not gonna lie. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, here we go, Pac-Man. Here fever. we go, Pac-Man fever. I don't know where that is. She from. good at Pac Man. Is she good at Pac Man? I don't know. Little Britain 2, Electric Boogaloo. I don't even remember what I scored in the last one. I think it was 77. So we'll find out if she beat 77. I don't know what this 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 strategy is, this pathway, but she oh Jesus, she's already on Did we have 60. to find out what happened to her like subscription as well? Her subscription. Oh, oh, oh to yeah. the to the Adobe yeah. subscription. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm disappointed we may never see a conclusion to that story <laughs> arc. <laughs> Have to message That's her later being like, did you renew your Adobe? It's like, Square and Charge gets cancelled before we find out. <laughs> it's like Woody's finest hour. <laughs> Good old Woody's roundup, did yeah. You make... Although, what, what show would cancel itself before the final episode if the final episode had been made? Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't really make sense, does it? I was, yeah. About yeah. To, I was about to say the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. It happened to Gilligan's Island. And uh, it was only cancelled because uh, the executives, or like whoever was running the network, the executives wiped him like it. So, could be worse. Canceled. It, it could have been cancelled just after one episode. Like, um, what's that show? Um, oh, Heil Honey, I'm Home? Oh, yeah. Or it could have been cancelled mid-season, like the Pirates of Darkwater. That's not what I'm familiar with, I'll be honest with you. That's why I, I just, can't tell. 
<laughs> this is just, it's just like so 90s and so piratey. Not very many people remember it, but it is what it See, is. That, that that's a good analogy for it. It's like there's shows like Pirates yeah. of Dark Water that you've never heard of, and then there's the there's the cancelled shows after one episode you have heard of, like Heil Honey, I'm Home, because you really you think yeah. back on it and go, that one shouldn't have been a thing. Why why did that shit get made? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a weird show. And Hannah is uh, finished. So, Rex. Finally at the end. Wait, uh, with that in mind, feel free to tally up the scores. Don't quite tell me yet because uh, we're going to build to a big crescendo. And don't forget to add a bonus five points on for her um, coming second as well. So she should have a maximum of possible of 245 and I would have a maximum possible of 250. So we'll find out who is our winner. Just I thought you were going to do the Noel Edmonds thing and be like, we'll find out after the break. After the break. Ah! The Chris Tarrant thing. We'll find out after the break. <laughs> <laughs> after every single question, it feels like, yeah. See, with the no <laughs> Noel Edmonds, I, I, I just think of just. I, I know it's Deal or No Deal you're referencing, but I'm just. Every time I think of like Noel Edmonds on a game show, I'm just thinking. Oh, it's the banker. It's for you. <laughs> this sort of thing happens on Dancing on Ice as well. It's just gone into almost every uh, commercial TV show going. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know when you've uh, got the scores all tallied up there, Rexy. I'm pretty much ready. All right. So we will go in the order that I can see them on the screen. So, Rexy, would you kindly tell me, please, uh, how much points, or how many points, rather, does... Hannah, Midnight Heart, have. Well, I have to admit that uh, there were like two or three games that I didn't quite see the actual score, but I did have a rough approximation based on her skill. So, what I am writing down here is 140, add on the bonus 5, which gives her a total of 145. Right, okay, cool. I'll have to go back and double check that in the double edit then, that's fine. Uh, so, what would you say it was? 145. Yes. Okay. And Gizmo? All right. Well, Kiwi's final score is... I would have after the break. Nah, <laughs> Unless, you put... <laughs> Unless you put an ad break you on YouTube. Monster. There you go. There you go. Do you know what? Now that you've said that, I'm going to deliberately edit in like an ad break from a mid-2000s TV show. Donut Super Tuesday is here. Tuesday, Domino's. Domino's, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Kiwi's final score is... He's not the father. <laughs> yes! Yes! Yay! Yes! Yeah, there we go, that's what I wanted to do. Good old uh, his, final score, his final score is 199. Wow. Wow. Not Pretty bad. decisive victory. Not bad. I was not quite expecting to get to the just under 200 mark, so that's pretty decent. Yeah, that's including the yeah. including the bonus. Including the bonus, very nice. Right, well, I think that's a decisive uh, win for me, so we shall wrap up this uh, video here because we are unfortunately running out of time before we are doing this in the post-commentary. So, uh, GG's to Hannah, uh, commiserations on your loss. Uh, shame you couldn't have been here in the commentary to uh, discuss that loss, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, and I'd also like to thank our uh, commentators and uh, counters for today. Of course, once again, uh, this has been the voice talents of Bobble Dink. Goodbye, YouTube watchers. Gizmo Cat 11. Leave a comment. And, of course... Rexy. Like and subscribe. Wonderful. Like I said, like and subscribe, leave a comment, all that fun stuff. Share with your friends, family, and what have you. Put in a playlist or talk about it on Twitter or something. I, I don't know. What do people do? You know, I'm not I'm not regular Snapchat, person. Snapchat. Uh, Snapchat. Something. Yeah. yeah. Be, be, be one of them folks, but yeah. But no, we're going to end it here, so thank you very much for watching, and have yourselves a good rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world, and we will see you all later. Goodbye, everybody. Peace. Bye.